Hello friends, this is Tebrina from Jinjan Dance Academy and today's lesson will be based on a particular category of tukra which is known as Rang Manch Ka Tukra. Rang Manch, as the name suggests, is the stage, right? Which is the ultimate goal of a performing artist, especially if you are a dancer, you are learning dance, then your ultimate goal is to perform on the stage. So when you are doing a Rang Manch Ka Tukra, it is basically a kind of salutation which you want to offer not only to the stage but also to your audience, to the people who are surrounding you, your percussionist, your uh, vocalist, your guru who has helped you to stand on the Rangamans today, to perform on the stage today. So it's a kind of salutation that you want to offer to all these people through your bowl. And that's how a Rangamanska Tukra is performed towards the very beginning of the entire repertoire. Now see, uh, I am going to uh, do the parant of one Rangamanska Tukra. A very small one will be completed within the 16 bit time cycle. Just see how it goes. Tat, tat. Ta te te tat a te te tat tat tram te e tat tram te e tat tram te. Now remember that when you are doing a Rangmanchka Tukra, essentially you have to involve movements like Namaskar, okay? Or we also say salami, uh, you know, in the Mughal styles when uh, things were more inspired by the Persian dancers. Okay, doing salam like this, then the, doing the hastak of pushpak and then offering petals and then bowing, bowing down to the stage. So when you are doing a rang manchka tukra, then involving these kinds of movements are extremely uh, important. When you see the demonstration in the next lesson, you will be able to understand this. Thank you so much.